are here almost literally on the eve of what we believe will be a historic state visit by Prime Minister Modi. One that will further solidify what President Biden has called the defining relationship of the 21st century. We see this defining relationship um, as a unique connection between the world's oldest and largest democracies with a special obligation now to demonstrate that our governments can deliver for and empower all of our citizens. Last year, as you all know, trade between our nations reached a record $191 billion, making the United States the largest trading partner for India. American companies have now invested at least $54 billion in India, from manufacturing to telecommunications. In the United States, Indian companies have invested over $40 billion in IT and pharmaceuticals and more, supporting 40, uh, 425,000 jobs from California to Georgia. We see the importance of the partnership in a shared commitment to address regional and global challenges, promoting health security, working with our quad partners to build a free, open, secure, prosperous Indo-Pacific, where people, where goods, where ideas can travel freely and rules are applied fairly. Um, I have witnessed India's constructive leadership on these issues up close these last two and a half years. And I see it in their ambitious agenda at this year's G20, uh, in our new I2 YouTube group with India, with Israel, with the UAE, the United States, and in probably more than a dozen meetings that I've had with my counterpart, my colleague, my friend, Foreign Minister Jashankar.